answer the phone. It's Mr. Slater. Hello, Mr. Slater. Oh, don't worry, sir. The party will be a success. If I don't keep the children laughing, I'll get the sack. But... Oh, he's gone. Oh, well, I'm not too worried. Sue's out now delivering the invitations. Come to our party. There we are. Would you like to come to our party? Here we are. A party invitation. <laughs> Wow, these balloons look lovely, Sooty. The children are going to love these. Should we blow some more up? We've got to stretch them first. Oh, I see. Well, I'll tell you what then. I'll hold the balloon and you give it a little stretch. Apparently you have to stretch the balloon. Ow! <laughs> Oi! Don't let it go on my fingers. Just give it a little stretch. You're stretching it far too much then. Don't do that. He was stretching it far too much. Sooty, I can see you doing it. Do you think I'm an idiot? Just give it a little stretch. I'm stretching it far too much. <laughs> stretching it. Ow! <laughs> right, you're no, giving me it back, Sooty. Give me it back. Sooty, no, no, you're not doing it. Sorry. You're not, Sooty, you're not doing it. Just let go of it. Ow! <laughs> All right, smarty pants. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just take some of the balloons that are already blown up and put them up somewhere nicely. Now, maybe. <laughs> Don't let go of them. I have to blow it up again now. Hold on to it nicely, and we'll find somewhere really nice we can put it up in the room. Maybe a... <laughs> Have I been eating beans? No, I have not been eating beans. Sooty keeps letting go of all the balloons. I, I tell you what, look. We'll let Sweep hold on to this one, and don't let it go, Sweep. <laughs> It's <laughs> got a picture frame over your head. Look, why don't you go and make yourself useful and go and pour out the orange juice? The children will be here soon. Go on, hop it. <sighs> I wonder how Sue's getting on with the invitations. Here's a party invitation. Lovely to see you. Here's a party invitation. Oh, thank you. Now listen, the children will be here very soon, so we need to get all the games ready. This is one of my favourites. It's called Stick the Tail on the Donkey. <laughs> That's it, Stick the Tail on the Donkey. <laughs> what happens is, you have to wear a blindfold, and then whoever can get the tail on the donkey wins. Uh, why don't we have a little practice? <laughs> Who wants to go first? Um, Sooty, we'll let Sweep go first, all right? <laughs> There's a blindfold for you, Sooty. Here's one for you, Sweep. Let's just pop it on. There we are. Now, no peeping. Okay, okay. No peeping. <laughs> Here's the tail. Right, do your best. Do your best. <laughs> you know, I don't hold out much hope for old sausage brain, but we'll give him a go, eh? Oh, no. oh. Well, you're not supposed to stick it there, you nitwit. You great big wally. You're not supposed to stick it there. 
It's all right. Let's let Sooty have a go. You can do it. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, is it now? Go on then. Let's see it, clever clogs. Wow, Sooty. You're certainly very close. I've... <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. That's fantastic, Sooty. Take a bow. You're not supposed to have a hole in the blindfold. Hey, it's the children! The children! Hey! Hello, Kitty Winks! And welcome to your very own... <laughs> Looks like we've got a party full of gate crashers. <sighs> This isn't going too well. So, boys and girls, are you having a good time? Oh, um, how about some magic? You're going to need some magic. <laughs> uh, the vanishing cracker trick. I take the cracker, place it in my hand, sprinkle on the magic dust, and it's gone. <laughs> what do you think? Rubbish! <laughs> um, the wiggly rope trick. <laughs> You'll like this. Prepare to be amazed. What do you think? It's like a party on the moon. There's no atmosphere. Oh. Look, if Richard doesn't make this party a success, Mr. Slater will sack him. What's the tea? Oh, good idea! How about a game of musical statues? Yeah! Uh, I'm just about to do my disappearing banana trick. Richard, if you do that, you'll make the boys and girls disappear. <laughs> oh, all right. Who knows how to play musical statues? <laughs> You're an expert. <laughs> well, we'll soon see. OK, everybody, you know the rules. As soon as the music stops, you all stand as still as a statue. Got it? Yes, yes Right, let's that. go. <laughs> Sweep! <laughs> Sweep! <laughs> Sweep, stop dancing! <laughs> You're supposed to stop when the music stops. <laughs> Yes, when the music stops. Right, let's start again, everybody. Sweep! 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 Sweep, stop dancing! You're supposed to stop when the music stops. When the music stops, you freeze. All right? Here we go again. So you stop when the music stops? Yes, Sweep, you stop when the music stops. Oh, it's the phone. It's Mr Slater. Hello, Mr Slater. What's that? My children's party must be a success because you can hear all the children laughing. Just keep the children laughing. I certainly will, sir. Oh, he's gone. Did you hear that? My party's a success. Maybe I should do some more magic. No, no, I mean, uh, let's play another game, Richard. Let's play Pin the Tail on the Donkey. Yeah! Oh, OK, then. <laughs> That's right, Richard. Just keep the children laughing. Bye-bye, yes. <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Uh, any sign of the boys yet? No, Richard. They're being a right pair of lazy bones.
can't hear anyone walking about. I said I can't hear anyone walking about. Well, I can only hear one of you. Come on, get a move on. Are you out of bed yet? Is Sooty awake? Well, go and wake him up. table. And anyway, you two are late for breakfast, and if I don't get a move on, I'm going to be late for work as well. Mr. Slater's given me a very important job today. Huh? What job? Ah, today I'm the beach warden, which means I'm in charge of everything that happens on the beach. Oh, we could help you with that, couldn't we, boys? <laughs> well, I'm not sure. You won't be any trouble. Well, no, I'm sorry, but this is a very responsible grown-up's job, which is why Mr. Slater's picked me to do it. <laughs> right, I must go. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye! Oh, I'd have loved a day on the beach. What's that, Sooty? Why don't we go and have fun on the beach anyway? Yes! Come on, boys. Let's get packing. Here we are, open for business. <sighs> Perfect. You know, sometimes I amaze myself. Mm. <sighs> Don't bite me, boy. Hello, Sidney. What a beautiful day! Let's sunbathe. Yes, Sooty? We should rent some sun lounges from that hut over there. Oh, good idea. Come on, then. Hello, service. Hello, good morning. What can I... Morning, Richard. What a glorious day. And what are you lot doing here? You thought you'd come and have some fun on the beach? Oh, did you? Well, as long as you don't get up to any tricks, or I'll be in trouble with Mr. Slater. Oh, go on, Richard. You won't even know we're here. You'll be as good as gold. Oh, all right, then. What do you want, Sooty? Can you hire a sun lounger? <laughs> go on, then. <laughs> No, boys, don't take the bottom lounger, take the top lounger. Richard's been lounging about. <laughs> Can you have your ball back, please? Oh, it's your ball, is it? Well, just be careful. Can you have your ball back, please? Well, I'm afraid, boys, on this occasion, the answer is no. Yes, no. I am running this beach for Mr Slater, and this ball is confiscated. 
<laughs> yes, confiscated. <laughs> You'll have to do something else. Go and play on the bouncy castle. Go on. You fancy an ice cream? That should cool us down. <laughs> then we can do some more bouncing. Ice creams are they? Yes. Surprise, surprise. Well, I'm sorry, but I am running this beach, and these ice creams are confiscated. <laughs> yes, confiscated. <laughs> What's that litwit thing he's doing? <laughs> Thank you, Sooty. Sorry about our friend Richard. He's in there. Covered in ice cream. I think he's just cooling off. <laughs> what did you say, Sui? How's my sculpture coming on? Very well, thank you. Why don't you come and have a look? Cool. This is a great sand sculpture, isn't it, boy? Yes, if I can get a chance to finish it, if Richard has stopped chucking ice cream at me. <laughs> You'd like to build a sand sculpture? Oh, that's a fantastic idea. I think Richard's got some buckets and spades at the beach hut. Let's go and ask him. Oh, it's you lot, is it? Hmm. Hey, I hope that man's not too angry with me. What do you want, anyway? Buckets and spades? You're going to build a sand sculpture? <laughs> You've got no chance. And anyway, we all know that I am the sand sculpture expert around here. Rubbish. What do you want, Sooty? Prove it. Uh, well, uh, I'd love to, but I'm running the beach and I'll get in trouble with Mr Slater. Don't be silly. Mr Slater would be very pleased. I mean, if you built an amazing sand sculpture for everyone to see... Come on, Mr Expert. Let's see what you can do. Uh, all right, you're on. <laughs> Let's see who can build the best sand sculpture. Hooray! Hey, come on, boys. Let's do it. Perfect. You know what I mean? You think that's funny, do you, Sooty? <laughs> well, if it's a water fight you want, then game on, get some of this! <laughs> Who's running this beach? Me! <laughs> Running the beach. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, hello there. 
Oh, I'm just off to deliver all these leaflets to all the other caravans. It's Mr. Slater's new money-making scheme. It's a pizza delivery service, so it's another busy day for me. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the finest fashion show in the world. And now we're about to see my new autumn collection. No, oh, Sotty! What have you done to her? Beards and boots indeed. Get it off! <laughs> and now, our next lady, who I'm told will be out of this world! <laughs> sweep! Sweep, what are you doing? <laughs> She's out of this world? Yes, but painting her green to make her look like an alien is not what I wanted, you toasty dog. <laughs> and now, <clears throat> the grand finale of the Sue Collection. Please welcome one of the most beautiful women in the world, modelling stunning swimwear. Oh, a gorilla in a bikini! You two boys, you just don't take fashion seriously. Unlike my hero. Look, look, Valentino du Prado, world famous fashion designer. Oh, if only I could be like him. Well, we're open for business. Ooh, that could be an order now. Hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. Oh, Mr. Slater! Yes, the telephone lines are now open. They better be quality pizzas or I'll get the sack. But... Oh, he's gone. Ooh. Actually, I'm not worried, because I have hired two fantastic Italian chefs to cook the pizzas. Oh, yes. Only Signor Sottini and his assistant, Sweet Pacino. They should be here any minute now. <coughs> oh, no. It's you, is it? <coughs> You're experts. Experts. Well, I hope you two know what you're doing. God, now, where's my pizza delivery girl? Sue! Sue! <gasps> oh, you look really nice in your uniform. Huh. No, I don't. I'm a disaster, darling. I mean, look at this hat. It's so last year. I can design a much better outfit. If you'd just like to look at my fashion magazine, then I can show... Sue, maybe later. Right now, you've got a very important job. You've got pizzas to deliver! What can be more important than fashion? Humph! Now, boys, let's get this straight. Do you actually know how to work this pizza-making machine? <laughs> Would I like a demonstration? <laughs> Go on, then. Impress me. First customer. Hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. One ham and pineapple, certainly, sir. You better get making the pizza, Sooty. Oh, uh, hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. Six pepperonis. Sooty, you better get making those pizzas as quick as you can. Oh. Hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. Oh, three Hawaiians. Oh, Sooty, you better get busy. <laughs> Getting up, you're supposed to be putting the pizzas in the boxes. Sausage brain. We can't use those now, sweet. We'll just have to make some more. Sooty, we've just had an order for another 12 pizzas. Oh, no. Hello, Slater's Pizza Delivery. What? Four ham and pineapple? <laughs> quick, Sooty, get a move on. We need those pizzas double quick. Hello, Slater's Pizza Delivery. Just have four meat feasts. Yes, no problem. Hello, Slater's Pizza Delivery. Six chicken specials and a veggie. A five sir. Hello? Slater's Delivery. Hello? Hello? Can I show you my fashion ideas for our uniforms, please? Not now, Sue. We've got lots of pizzas to deliver. Oh. Boys, don't do that. 
What if Valentino de Prado has to put up with anything like this? <laughs> Hello, Valentino speaking. I know you want to know where I am, but I, I not tell you. I cannot take the pressure no more. Uh, I come on holiday to come away from the fashion world. No, no, I not tell you. You will never find me. They will never find me here. so they don't get cold. Oh, what's this then? It's a super fast pizza delivery machine. Well, how does it work? Ooh. for six pizzas at Caravan 34. for it. I'll have to do it myself. Right, uh, what do we need? Uh, sausages, that'll be good. Cheese, very important for a pizza. Tomato, there we are. Oh, let's just put it all in. Right, here we go. Let's get busy. <laughs> Mamma mia! These are incredible! I must find out who make this. Um, why is that? They are fantastico! <gasps> Look, I think going to be a real hit this season. I think a real must. A must? More like a thin crust. <gasps> Wait a minute! I don't believe it! You're Valentino du Prado. Shh, 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 shh. This is not important. I must find out who is the designer of these beautiful hats. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> it is you. There is no doubt about it, young lady. You have a big future in the world of fashion. Ooh. I don't know what's wrong with this pizza machine. Maybe I've not put enough ingredients in. That could be it. Because you can never have too much of a good thing. <laughs> right. Now let's really crank it up. Magnifico! These are fantastic! I think these had to be a real sensation! Hooray! I said I'd be an international fashion designer one day! Oh, Sue, I, I love the hat! Such a great design! But uh, I think the suit uh, is too much! Suit? What suit? I didn't make a suit! Oh, oh, looks like dinner's on rich! <laughs> It'll look like he could use a little uh, pizza and a choir, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. 
Bye bye. Aha, gang! Mr. Slater's given me a day off today, so I thought I'd have a tidy up. And look what I found in the tool shed! <laughs> yes, I know it's a box, but inside it are some wonderful sooty memories. Oh, sooty, just look at this picture of you and your Uncle Harry. Yeah. And how about this one? Oh, look, sooty, it's Matthew. Oh, that does bring back memories. <laughs> and this one? Oh, yes, that's a photo of when we went to the zoo. Do you yes. remember that, Richard? I certainly do, Sue. Somebody locked me in the monkey cage. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Have a go with this. What is it? Sooty's magic surprise jar. Oh, I wonder why it's called that. Just open it. All right, then. Ah! <laughs> very funny, very funny. Well, now you've stopped laughing. That'll do, thank you. Uh-oh. Uh now, do you remember this, Sooty? That's your petrol pump from your toy garage. And I know where that is. It's in the tool shed. Ah, oh, there's so much wonderful stuff in the tool shed. A veritable treasure trove of memories are in the tool shed. Memories that can be relived again and again are in the tool shed. Memories of happy times and happy places are... <laughs> yes, in the tool shed. Hey, where are you going? To the tool shed. Look what I found, Richard. Oh, Sue, you look lovely in that photograph. Thank you, Richard. I used to love playing in that Wendy house, and that was one of my very favourite necklaces. I don't think I've worn it since that photo. I wonder where it is. <laughs> Hey, look what I found! It's Sue's Wendy house! The one that was in the photograph! Well, it's a bit dusty. It should clean up all right. I know what, why don't we redecorate the house as a surprise for Sue? Not now he needs some petrol. Oh, no, come on. Let's redecorate the house! You need some petrol? Well, I'm sorry, but that isn't even a real petrol pump. Oh, that's very good, but I know that that hose is full of water and you're just going to squirt me. I know what. <laughs> Let's squirt sweet. Da -da 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 very funny. Come on, you two. Let's go and decorate this house. Come on, outside. Where can it be? Maybe I lost my necklace when I was in here. No. No. Oh, oh, you boys look ready. Hey, listen, if you build Sue's Wendy house, I'll make sure she doesn't come outside and ruin the surprise. <laughs> Don't worry, you're experts. Well, go on then, convince me. I must find that necklace. I must. Sue! Sue, where are you? What are you doing? Sue! Sorry, Richard. I'm trying to find my necklace. Well, don't panic, Sue. I'm sure it will turn up somewhere, but there really is no need to make all this mess. Where is it? Sue!
Turn up. I've got it. Oh, thank goodness. No. I mean, I think I remember where I left it. In the rabbit hutch. The rabbit hutch. Oh, well done, Sooty. I see you giving your paint a good stir. Very good. Well, let's get busy then. I'll take the stick. Thanks a lot. Right, mix the paint up and let's start by painting something really nice. How about the door? Sue will love a nicely, freshly painted door, won't she? That's Oh, you're going to need more paint than that, Sooty. Go on. Plenty on the brush. That'll do. Go on, off you go. <laughs> I think Sweep's feeling a bit blue. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh, he was funny, wasn't he, Sooty? No. OK, maybe not. <laughs> sweep. Sweep. I say sweep. Oh. 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 <laughs> sweep. It's dangerous to shove people's faces into paint and it's very messy. I wouldn't laugh, Sweep. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Boys, 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 boys. Stop, stop for this. Listen, listen. I know what we'll do. We'll divide the job fairly, OK? Sooty, you can decorate the outside of the house and sweep. Why don't you take the wallpaper and decorate the inside of the house? Go and get pasting. Go on, get busy. Hop it. <laughs> uh, sweep, if you're going to put wallpaper up, you're going to need your wallpaper paste. Yes, wallpaper paste. Come and get it. Well, I'm glad you think it's funny. Come on, get back to work. Get that wallpaper up. Go on, get busy. Go on, hop it. <laughs> He'll have to go, that dog. He'll have to go. <laughs> Sweet! Sweet, what are you doing now? Your wallpaper's hanging out the window. Come down here and get it. <sighs> now take it inside. Go on. Sweet! Sweet! Oi! Bone brain. Now you've torn it. <sighs> well, never mind about the wallpapering. Ah, that's more like it. Set up your trestle, Sooty. Let's get some serious painting done. Well, let's get this house decorated. There we are, Sooty. That looks well set up. Do you know, Sue's going to be so surprised when she sees this Wendy house. <laughs> Good. Just pop it on the end. Now, one thing's for sure. <laughs> Get up there! Out of the way, you! I have to go, that dog. Let's get rid of this. It's causing too much trouble. Sooty, what are you doing? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, you're for it now. Now, don't do anything you might regret. Uh-oh. No, no, Sooty, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, you're well into the Sue's going to be so excited when she sees this. It's beautiful. Maybe she'll forget about that necklace. I'll call her. Sue! Have you found my necklace? Oh, boys! My marvellous Wendy house. Oh, this is excellent. It looks so wonderful. Oh, I wonder if the window's still open. Cooey! <gasps> look! Look 
everyone, it's my necklace, it's my necklace. It was in my Wendy house all the time. Oh, there you go, Sue. I said it would turn up. Mm. You found it in the Wendy house. Wendy window was open. <laughs> Wendy oh. window. <laughs> all right. Say goodbye, Richard. OK. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Slate of State Circus, live from the Big Top. You're going to see amazing tightrope walking and amazing tricks like this. Ooh. Yes, hi, thank you. Thank you very much. Come on, Sooty. But without further ado, please welcome the performers from Slater's State Circus. <sighs> Where are they? Oh, hello. Hello. What time does the show start? Oh, it's this afternoon, Sue, if the circus performers turn up, that is. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's Mr Slater. Hello, Mr. Slater. How's the circus? Well, the performers aren't actually here yet, but I'm sure they will be. If they don't arrive, I'll get the sack. It's got to be round here somewhere. Why don't you knock on this door? Somebody could give us directions. Hey, great idea. Oh, hello. Um, I wonder if you can help us. We're lost. We're trying to find the big top. No, not the big shop. The big top. No, not the big shop. The big top. Top. All oh, right. I think I've got that. Come on, guys. Bye. Bye. No, Sooty, you can't be in the show. I need everything to go smoothly today. Oh, Richard! Look, why don't you two go out and enjoy yourselves? Oh. I'll worry about everything here, then you can come back later and hopefully see the circus. Oh, yes, great! <laughs> oh, hello, Sweep. Now, you haven't seen any circus performers, have you? <laughs> Just some shoppers. Come on! Sweet, we're going out. This is Stella Vidal. Can we please staff available to the checkout, please? Thank you very much. My dear Sooty, the bird garden. I've always wanted to come here. Thank you very much. I'm Norman. Hello, Norman. What's the matter, Sooty? What do you mean, where do the batteries go? <laughs> they don't run on batteries. No, they're live birds. That's Percy, Cyril, Harold, Jean-Pierre. Of course they're very clever, yes. They certainly are. Look at this. Is oh. Sit still. There you go. Look at that. Look at you. You look really good. Oh, oh sooty. Yes, that's smashing. What's that, bird brain? Oh, it's nearly time for the circus. Well, I like circus. We like circuses, don't we, boys? Would you like to come? I'll ask the gang. Shall we go to the circus? Yes. Great. Well, we'll see you later then. Why, oh, that's good. See you there. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Oh, hello, you three. Hey, you haven't seen the circus performers on your travels, have you? The audience are coming in. Uh, no. Oh, this is a disaster. Mr. Slater said he was going to give me the sack if anything went wrong. What am I going to do? Oh, no. Go on, Richard. 
Richard. We know lots of tricks. Hey, <laughs> eh? And you don't need batteries? No. Batteries? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> hey! Hey, come back! OK, everything's going to be fine. What's that, Sooty? Right, everything will be fine. We won't let you down, Sooty. We don't want to let him down. Norman Barrett and his amazing budgies! Hold tight. Good oh. boys, one, two, and one, mate, three, that's fine. Oh, good boy. That's it, come on. Come on. Good boy, that's it. Yeah. One more time, jump. That's better, sir. Ha! Good boy, that's fine. Thank you. That's right, you've got it going now. Thank you. Watch very carefully. Here we go. This is it. Ready, right? Like, up one, come on. Up two, come on. Up three, up four. Up, up. Don't sit on the car. Now, what's going to happen? He's going to run along. Say that on that. You don't know what you're doing, do you? Let me try. Look, show him what to do. Look, all you've got to do is run along the table and sit on the car. Sooty, Sooty, what shall I do with him? Sort them out? Good idea. Better get down. Get out of the way. Uh, please, I miss fire. There you go. OK. Now, look. All you've got to do, when I say, quick as you can, come Not me. Oh, sit there. Then it all wrong. On the car. Hurry up. Good boy. You're doing very good.
you were here. Oh. Later? I'm sorry, I can't quite hear you. Is the show a success? Well, you could say it's a flying success. Listen. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Now, Richard, try that. Okay, Sue. One, two, one, two. Oh, where is she? Where is she? Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little bit distracted. It's just we've got my favourite pop star superstar coming to the park today to do a pop concert. Oh, yes, <laughs> it's only the great Maybe Googa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, boys. <laughs> Has Maybe Googa arrived here yet? <laughs> well, no, she hasn't, actually. But don't worry, she'll be here soon, I'm sure. The great Googa would never let her fans down. Now, did you finish pasting up the posters? <laughs> well, I hope you use strong glue. <laughs> I can see you did use strong glue. Thank you very much, Smarty Pants. Well, where is the poster? Take a look. <laughs> well, where? Over there. Hang on a minute. That poster is upside down. Well, who's going to read an upside down poster? The people on the roller coaster, eh? Go and stick it up the right way, sausage brain. Go on. <laughs> oh, hello, Sooty. I wonder what I could do. Maybe I could sing a song. Uh, Sooty, don't do that, please. Just leave the microphone alone. Maybe if I sang a... Don't do that. Maybe if I... Uh, don't bang the microphone. You're testing it. Why? You can do something to entertain everybody. And what are you going to do, then? Sing a song? <laughs> sing a song? You? You're a very good singer. <laughs> the little bear that hasn't spoken for years is going to do a song. You'll sing it now. All right, now stop doing that to the microphone. Go on then, singing a song. Less of the bowing, just get on with it. Is that it? What was that then? Silent Night. Silent Night. Hey, give me the... Sooty, give me the... Give me the microphone. Sooty, will you... Give me the... It's very strong for such a small... Give me the... Give me the microphone. Sooty, just put it down. No. Hop it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Slater's Fun City. And today, don't forget, we've got our fabulous pop concert with the one, the only, the spectacular Maybe Googa. Over to you, Sue. Yes, Maybe Googa will be performing live for you any minute now. <laughs> what is the matter, Richard? So Maybe Googa hasn't actually arrived yet. So I think we ought to wait for her to get here before we announce the show. Well, I'm sorry, Richard, but it's in the script. Oh. Yes. It is truly an honour to have Maybe Googa with us at Slater's Fun City. So, why not try your hand at one of our games for a chance to win a spectacular, exclusive, once-in-a-lifetime Maybe Googa souvenir at the Can Stand store. How was that, Richard? Richard? Oi! Richard! An exclusive Googa souvenir, eh? <laughs> it sounds good to me. I wonder who's running this stall. Hello? Hello? <coughs> oh, no. It's you two, is it? <sighs> well, what is the game, then? You'll show me. All right, go on. <coughs> is that it? I've just got to knock the cans over. Mm. <laughs> so what do I win? Mm. Oh, dirty old mug. Who'd want a dirty old mug? Mm. 
It's the actual mug used by Maybe Gugar on last year's tour. Oh, I've got to win that. Come on then, come on then. This is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Prepare to be impressed. Watch this. Hello, Mr. Slater. Yes, it's true. Maybe Gugar hasn't arrived. Oh, but don't worry, sir. I've arranged everything. She will be here. If she doesn't turn up, I'll get the sack. Oh, he's gone. Oh, no. Where is she? And now, a chance to win another exclusive Gugar prize. So, if you're feeling quackers, try your luck at Hooker Duck. Oh. Excuse me, girls. Oh, Sooty, there you are. You haven't seen Maybe Gugar anywhere, have you? Oh, dear. Is this another game? Ah, oh, what's the prize this time? A tea bag? Who'd want to win a dirty old tea bag? It's not just any old tea bag. It's the actual tea bag used by Maybe Gugar on last year's tour. Oh, I've got to win this tea bag. I should try the game now. Yes, I certainly will. Watch out for the fast duck. <laughs> the fast duck. <laughs> Sooty, these are plastic ducks on water. All it takes to win this tea bag is lots of concentration and a steady hand. Watch this. This is a disaster. Maybe Gugar still isn't here. Mr. Slater's going to give me the sack for sure. What's that, Sooty? Why don't I have a cup of tea to cheer myself up? Oh, that's very kind of you, and it certainly makes up for all those tricks you played on me earlier. Oh, oh, oh look! Oh, boys, thank you. Look, it's the actual mug Maybe Gugar used on last year's tour. And look, it's the actual tea bag used on last year's Maybe Gugar tour. Don't tell me. <laughs> it's the actual tea used on last year's Maybe Gugar tour. Ladies and gentlemen, you thought she wasn't coming, but she's finally here. So go crazy for the one and only Maybe Gugar. I don't believe it. Stop the music! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have an apology to make. All true Maybe Gugar fans will know that that was not Maybe Gugar. It appears the great Gugar could not be with us today. As we could all see, that was nothing more than a dog in a wig. <laughs> it really is Maybe Gugar! <laughs> I'm body in the rain My mama stops me But I go out again I'm kind of thinking That my brain is in a muddle But I can't help splashing In dirty puddles Whoa, oh, 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 oh Dirty me is my first smell of cheese Whoa, oh, 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 oh Change my shirt I've been rolling in the dirt you know what's up, what's up, it's a walk, somehow, not easy, even though my mama 
tell me Here was now, one was that Please don't watch my mom is here Even though my mama tells me My mama mucky, my mucky is me My mama mucky, my mucky is me My mucky is me Give it up for Baby Dugan! Bye bye everybody, bye bye Ooh.